Hey, thanks for joining Max Muscle Davis County today. My name is James, and today we're going to continue our, our video uh, series on nutrition and education. So we've done a couple videos already, one about protein, one about carbohydrates, and the meaning of these or the purpose of these videos is to help get a general knowledge about what these things, these items do in our body, these macronutrients, if you will. So macronutrients are something that we or basically, let me define macronutrients really quick in case you haven't watched the other videos. Macronutrients are the type of food we put in our body that actually provides energy. Micronutrients are more vitamins, minerals, and things of that nature, whereas macronutrients are proteins, carbs, and fats. This video is about fats. Uh, fats are often demonized, saying that they raise cholesterol, they cause heart problems, they have you know all these things that are gonna happen if you eat fat. The problem with that is that as we eat less fat, we eat more of other things because we still need to hit a certain amount of calories or whatever it is in order for, for us to have energy to be able to function and perform. Um, fats actually provide a fair amount of energy, nine calories per gram, and that's how if we do happen to overeat our fats a little bit that uh, you know we can have a surplus of energy throughout the day, which does result in potential fat gain. So fats, while they can provide a lot of energy, they do need to be watched and they need to be consumed in the right amounts. Certain bodies do better with higher fat and certain bodies do better with less fat. And so understanding what kind of body type you have is, is also important. And that's for another video as well. What this video is about is, is fats as a macronutrient. So like I already said, there's nine gram or calories per gram of fat whereas there's four in a, in a gram of protein and four in a gram of carbohydrates. So as, as I was mentioning, you can see how overeating fats could lead to problems. First, let's understand that fats provide a very important service to the body. Every cell in your body, yes, it does have a lot of protein in it, is actually cre uh, has a surrounding bilayer of, of fat, and uh, it's called a bilayer phospholipid, or a phospholipid bilayer. And what this means is this this structure around the outside of this cell makes it so only good can get in and only bad, or it means only good gets in, bad stays out, or what's in the cell doesn't get out too easily. So as we, if we don't eat enough fats, we can actually have uh, our immune system is lessened or weakened because we don't have as strong of cells. And uh, so it's important to eat fats. Now, there are three main types of fats. There's saturated fat, there's polyunsaturated fat, and there's monounsaturated fat. There's a fourth, and in my opinion, we, we should try to avoid that at all costs, and those are trans fats. Those are fats that have been adapted to serve whatever the purpose of the manufacturer is, to be solid at room temperature or fluffy or whatever it is that they want to be in the food that they're, they're producing. Um, we want to be careful with those. those. Those do lead to other issues. So the three fats that naturally occur in nature are saturated, polyunsaturated, and monounsaturated. Each of these fats does have certain benefits, like saturated fats are actually what make that cell lining very strong. They're also great for carrying vitamins into the body. In fact, if you eat an egg yolk, for example, you're going to get a lot of vitamins in there that you're not going to get otherwise. And vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin that needs fat in order for it to be absorbed. So what better place to get it than from a natural source such as an egg yolk? Um, it also helps with uh, brain function, and it helps with nerve conduction, and like I was already saying, it makes the cell stronger. That's a good reason to take saturated fat. Um, number two is, are the polyunsaturated and the monounsaturated. I'm going to lump them together because they're fairly similar. Polyunsaturated fats are going to be, uh, you know, your, your sunflower, your, let's see some of the others. Uh, there's sunflower, there's uh, salmon, there's cod, there's uh, corn oil. These are saturated or, or polyunsaturated fats. These want to be more or less consumed in, in moderation. And then I would pr prefer to get most of my fats from monounsaturated fats. That's going to be your avocado. It's going to be olive oil, peanut oil, fats like that. Monounsaturated fats help reduce how thick your blood is and, and saturated make it a little thicker. So there needs to be balance there. And that's why a good 369 supplement can help quite a bit there if you if you don't choose to get all your fats from your diet. Um, those are the things that I would discuss about those uh, primarily. So I would focus on getting as many monounsaturated fats and dividing my other fats, the polyunsaturated and the saturated, uh, equally. 
Um, where do we want to get those from? Well, I've kind of already alluded that you probably want to get your saturated fats from whole foods. Not eating a steak per se, but eating an egg yolk or maybe two depending how, again, how big you are and how much food you need for your energy source. We already discussed that some of the fat soluble vitamins are needed, uh, it need fat to be absorbed and, it, and coming from nature is a good option there. I don't recommend overdoing it though. Uh, another one that, that I consume quite a bit is coconut oil. Coconut oil uses uh, a different kind of fat. It's called MCTs, which stands for Median Chain Triglycerides. These fats are unique in that they cannot be stored. They have to be burned. So when they're in the bloodstream, your body will learn to burn fat. And it actually has been shown to, to raise uh, your metabolism uh, mildly. It's not going to be a huge benefit there, but you know every little bit helps when you're trying to lose body fat. Um, where would I get my polyunsaturated? I've already discussed that. A little bit of, you know, cod. Uh, cod liver oil is healthy. It doesn't taste good, but you know, eat, eat salmon or cod then if you don't want to take the oil. Uh, sunflower and things of that nature. So sunflower seeds, if you choose to eat those, um, they're good options. Uh, as far as monounsaturated fats go, I'd recommend primarily olive oil. It's very healthy. Uh, I cook with a lower temperature when I use olive oil and it's great to have as a vinaigrette or something if you decide to use a salad dressing. Another option would be your, your peanut oil and uh, avocados. Avocados are f a fruit but they actually have a blend of poly, mono and saturated fats but the majority of it is going to be your, your mono and saturated fats. So as you consume fats in your diet your body will learn to burn fat freely. Uh, you'll be able to help maintain a better balance of how thick your blood is, uh, good cholesterol versus bad cholesterol. Uh, one th quick note on cholesterol and then I'll be done is cholesterol is used to produce hormones. So if you're not ingesting the right cholesterol, the right fats that provide cholesterol for the body, your body's going to have a tougher time making hormones which we know, uh, I, I often say that we're nothing more than a constant chemical reaction going on, you know, this hormone does this, this, that, the other, and it makes our bodies function. So uh, next time you're in the store, ask us ab about good fats and the things you can take to, to help with that. We also address that in our macro blueprint if you're doing one of those as well. Until next time, this is James with Max Muscle Davis County.